Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more Naya. Not Naya. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pioneer Slivers. We're playing Pioneer here. We won the die roll. And we've got a terrible hand that we have to mulligan. So, let's see if we can do better with this one. We definitely can. Perfectly fine. I think we'll just... I think we'll just drop the Collected Company. We're pretty far from it. And we've got, uh... A decent hand up otherwise no this one thank you okay <clears throat> unclaimed into gale rider we'll take a look at what they're doing and then more than likely we'll put down the diffusion first it's just a, a good one to go on to especially when you're on the play they just can't keep up with it Start sliding in with some leeching and predatory. It's a good hand. It's a good hand. All right, we got some time. They probably don't have a ton of removal if those are their colors. Uh, so let's let's go predatory. We'll apply some pressure until we see some. Uh, some removal or some colors that would inform us of some decent removal. Right now I'm not too worried about Simic. Fibbolet. Oh, they got Fibbolet. Oh, it's going to be over. Poor Fibbolet. Sliver Hive. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just go Leech and go for max damage. Boom, boom, bang. I really want to start playing Pioneer more. I'm just liking it a lot more uh, as far as straining my abilities for Magic the Gathering. Uh, and I, I like the challenge. I want to get better at certain plays and certain phases, which Popper can provide sometimes, but not, not majority of the time. Let's see if they're going to hold something up here now. If they're gonna play something. Icon of Ancestry, huh? It's pretty nice. I think I'm just gonna play a diffusion. Hmm. Icon would be better. I feel like they're holding up a counter spell here though. So if they're just holding up counter spells. I don't really want to get Icon countered because it does buff our team quite nicely. Yeah, let's just go Diffusion. See what they do with this. They let it go through. See if they've got some kind of other play here. Otherwise, they're taking a good chunk. They are not doing anything else. No play, even at the end of turn. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah. All right, we'll go to game two. Hmm. Don't know what I really want here. I haven't seen enough about the deck. Haven't seen anything. We saw Fibbolt, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm not going to play around anything until I know what to play around here. Let's just run it back. The deck is strong on its own, so maybe if anything... Just to be, since this seems like more of maybe they're trying to play some kind of control game. Maybe dropping an Immortal Sun and just bringing in the other icon just to get some heftier damage going. Or just another creature even. What are you going to do on the play, my friend? 
Overgrown Tomb and Sliver Hive. Yeah, this is good. It's a good hand. Keep. We just need to draw into some lands for the Collected Company, but uh, all this looks pretty good. I'd love to go Metallic into Diffusion or Metallic into Leeching after we drop the Gale Rider. Uh, but let's see what their play is here. We're still waiting on them to see if they mulligan. All right, they mold to five. Yikes, we are not going to see any of their deck, are we? Sacred Foundry. Not the most important land to get in this deck. Has its uses, but... Pass. Gale Rider down. Castle Vantress tapped. Yeah, that's a that's a rough uh, mold of five. Tap land. You hate to see it. All right, so we're gonna go Overgrown. Say yes. I think we're just gonna go ahead and get down the Metallic to really set up for a powerful board here. Sliver. Swing for one. Pass it back. Escape protocol. Whenever you cycle a card, you may pay one. If you do, exile target artifact or creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. So they're playing some kind of blink game here. Uh, which is fine. We can super race that. Uh, we're going to say no to that. We're just going to put down leeching. And get in there for a lot of damage. Get in there for five. Down to 14 they go. Next turn. Well, see what we get. If we get a land... We may go for a collected, but they could be holding something up here. All right. So we have two collecteds now. Siphon. My life total isn't really a worry, so I think we'll just go for the diffusion. Hold up black. Maybe uh, fake a fatal push or something, but not looking great for them. I don't know what their game is. I mean, it sucks. They multi five, but... I have no clue what deck we're playing right now. <laughs> like, we, we've seen them play two cards. Oh my gosh, it's bad. It's bad. <sighs> hmm. Uh, interesting. Anyone want to reveal your hand? I'll reveal mine if you reveal yours. I just want to know what deck we're playing. Escape Protocol. Simic Protocol. I'll have to look it up and see what it, it actually was. Get a better idea. But, uh, yeah, quick matchup. But uh, a nice showing for how smooth... Pioneer runs. I really like it. Um, I think I'm going to switch it up this week. I think I'm going to do Monday and Friday Pioneer Slivers, and Wednesdays will be a popper, just because I want to devote a little bit extra time into Pioneer. Let me know what you guys think about that. I know a uh, majority of the watchers do like watching popper, but uh, there's a little bit of a following for Pioneer. Uh, but if you enjoy the Pioneer, let me know. I'm going to test it out this week. If you guys want to switch up a little bit, maybe more Pioneer content over popper for a, a minute. Let me know in the comments below, and yeah, subscribe and stay tuned for more. We're still going to have Popper coming up on Wednesday, so stay tuned for that, and we will see you guys in the next video.